disclaimer, the reason that this is up so late is because this is my fourth uh, attempt recording this. Last time it's been uh, pretty glitchy, but I've updated my software, so hopefully it works this time. <laughs> What's up, YouTubers? I'm Ryan Hanson one and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door from the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, uh, we got ourselves the Super Boots. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing up the Great Bogley Tree. So, let's go on ahead. Hmm, let me see. Things gotta be around here somewheres. Huh? Huh? What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. So, yes, he saw us. Yeah. I don't think my reactions or anything like that is gonna be as fresh, considering it's my fourth time recording this. But, I think we can make do just for this episode. Anyway, um... Is that what I think it is? Yes, the Emerald Star, second Crystal Star. So apparently we need the punies to get it. Wow, Mario, check it out. The Crystal Star, score! And it gets stolen. Hey, you, I see you, jerk. Mario is that weasel. <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just too good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crumb? Boom, it falls right into my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. I have magical powers beyond your cop. I escaped. Know what it is? Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. I'm going to use this to bury you and those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, pow, I'm gone. And yeah, technically we get less than five minutes like it's intended because, you know, time goes by in cutscenes. This is so not cool. We need to get out of here right now. Do not worry about the punies. You do not need to bring them back. Just get your butt out of there. But we have to fight these x knots. Sorry, punies, but we're leaving without you. He has a dizzy dial, whatever. With the super boots and an upgraded party member, you should be able to defeat him quickly. But keep in mind that time does go by uh, when you're leveling up. So choose what you're going to level up before you do this whole uh, time section. Um, uh, yeah, let's see, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't think time passes by when you pause the game, so feel free to do that. But, like, just be prepared uh, uh, for this. Don't, like, just go in willy-nilly. Luckily, they give you plenty of time, but hopefully you cleared out all the enemies in this dungeon. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. But me, I have uh, 225 seconds left, so I think I'm good. I mean, we're almost out of here anyway. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So, if we jump over here and jump again, we can go through this door. And if you need to heal and save, go ahead and do so right now. But we're just going to go ahead and get out of here. But, you won't be going any farther this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? Uh, you got no respect, Brad. Don't you think my age has something to do with my might? He's getting smaller. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Older power, activate. Well, it certainly is going to kill you. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? Got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh what the? Ouch. Can't take another step. Ooh. Urgh. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot-headed old coot, you dare defy me? You must die. Yeah, I know, I had to pull out that reference. I could shine my boots with you. Stop right there, jerk. You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now, give us that crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. You guys are nuts, you know that? So, oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. 
with with 135 seconds to spare. Okay, you passed one pummeling coming up with extra fist, metal fist that is. And oh no, it's a capsule slash orb from Mario Party 5 through 7. Oh wait, I was wrong. Awake, Magnus von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. So yeah, he has a giant robot with the X not symbol. And he is about to stop us. And we get some epic music. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this thing ain't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power of this bit, bad boy. Whoa, he is powerful. Still, something about that Metal Freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show off the spin jump. Yeah, there we go. So now, we, uh, he has one defense point, so we already know his defense and HP, so why tattle on him? Here it comes, suckers. Magnus Von Punish. And ready? By the way, I'm terrible at dodging his attacks. I can never get the timing. And I say we go ahead and give Goombella a power punch. I remember in my first uh, attempt in recording, I didn't know I had this. I'm like, oh, I wish I had this super powerful item in the tray. I must have missed it. I'm like, <laughs> after watching, I'm like, dude, it's right there. I was going to, like, edit it in with an arrow or text or something. Like, dude, you just missed it. And, huh, I got the timing on that. Interesting. So let's go ahead and do a normal jump. And a head bonk. And, oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're going to love it. Might not work out too well for you. So, yeah, new enemy, X-Fist. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to show what happens if you leave at least one alive. So, as for you, Goombella, wait, dang it. As for you, Goombella, go ahead and head bonk this guy. And now, if you leave that alive, grr, grr, not good, can't last. Yeah, just four damage, so you want to get rid of it. Don't do what I did. I hate this attack, I can't time it. So, um... I say we uh, hit this fist, and then head bonk him. And then... Uh, at least our HP is going to be restored. So anyway, let's go ahead and do an Earth Tremor. And... I need to focus. Dang it! And... Four damage, so one more head bonk should do the trick. And with that, he is dead. We are like, this could be the end. Yeah, Magnus Von Crapple. More like Va Magnus Von Crapple. Sorry, guys. And with that, we get a level up. I like how uh, half the audience is punies and half is the X-Nauts. That's such a cool detail. So yeah, I say we go ahead and upgrade our VP. And with that, we are done. And... Boom! Yeah! B no, Magnus Von Grapple! How can we lose? Yeah, uh, I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crumb summons us! Got retreat, yeah, it's a runaway, wait up, retreat. He falls over. He could have just grabbed the crystal star. Uh, we did it, Mario. Yes, it was great or what? They're gone. This place can be go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right there, Martio. You can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resides in this tree. So yeah, not the most difficult boss. The game kind of starts off easy, but don't worry. It'll get much more difficult later on. You got a crystal star and learned my least favorite special move, Clock Out. And... End of chapter.
And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the great tree. The Bogwood Woods echoed with puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our heroes hear from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. So yes, we want to save. Wait, why'd I do that? Okay, good thing I can copy my file. What? Say that again. Uh, you can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You're correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. So, yeah, if this messes up, at least I can copy my file. Sir Grotus, please allow me to answer. So, yeah, we have a backup save. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Stars in Bogley Woods have apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x Nile. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hotel Castle, Bogley Woods, and the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking, so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep close watch on Mario and what he does from now on. Absolutely, sir! Mario, I loathe you. Did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. When there's so many things, I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? And doesn't seem to open. And oh, is this text doing again? Let's take a shower first. No, not to see her in the shower. I I want to see that ponytail and dimples again. Like. Come on, it was adorable. <laughs> Mario 64 reference. It's the castle theme that she's humming. Peach sings in the shower. Ah, hee <laughs> hee. I feel like a new princess. So, yeah, I love that ponytail. Oh, come on. Peach, please don't get rid of it. Dang it, you got rid of it. So now if we go through this door. And we can keep walking. Yay. And now we get the tech. I'll do the voice. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario. Did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So, what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? E excuse me, Princess. Sorry. <laughs> excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. Uh, but it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. We want to do something together. It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? We have to dance with ourselves. Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? 
Oh, all right, I guess. It's going to be kind of weird. I must say, though, it must feel weird dancing with myself. Already said it, Peach. So, uh, we press the buttons at the display on the screen. And B and and B. If you press the wrong button, uh, nothing bad really happens. You just mess it up. And, and A and, and X. That was it. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I finished, Tech. Could you send it? And we send email. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from the stance immediately. The data I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Saving is for wimps, even though I saved earlier. I save off screen, usually. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. So anyway, we have to play Super Bowser Bros. Yeah, you heard that right. So you can breathe fire and stomp our enemies. But Bowser's about to be killed by his own minion. Because I want to show off what happens if you die. So you have infinite lives. But you just go to World 1-2 and then 1-3 and so on. But it looks like the exact same thing. So yeah, you can burn enemies. You gather meat to... Um... Okay, let's squash this. Up. Not yeah. You gather gather meat to get um like bigger like Mario does, and now we have Super Mega Bowser. Yeah, so this is basically Bowser's version of the Superstar Starman, and we knock down the flagpole. I'm pretty sure you don't even have to be Super Bowser to do that. I think if you're big enough, you'll do that. I don't know. Someone tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg again. Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! Hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! What? Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! What, Peach? I found you, my princess! I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting! Now, now, none of that silent treatment! You're coming to my castle with me! <laughs> Clearly, she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless! Mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Might even have its perks, you know. No! This part's so funny. My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give him my life-size peach poster. Ha 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 ha. That's so funny, but I'm not laughing as much because I've seen this so many times already. P poster 
Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Oh great, just great. Now I look like the huge and mighty king of guys who talk to posters. No. No. No, no, no. No, as Chucky Conroy would say. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get down right to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I love pots of Kating, and so, um, so come on, whenever you feel like sitting Shadow off. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with uh, the Crystal Stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See ya, Mr. Mario. See ya. But we're coming back right now, because there are some star pieces. But, you know, it's over 20 minutes. You know, I don't want things to run too long. So, I think we're going to end the episode right here. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we will begin those star pieces and find a location next to the star. So, I'm in right hand someone. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!